Hey, good morning, Virgos. Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. Good morning, Virgos. I'm in such a great mood. I'm so glad to have you guys on my channel. Please hit a like and subscribe. And also share my video so other people can get the message that I be delivering. So today, you guys, I'm going to use my ghetto cards. And I'm going to use the cards that I created so that way I could deliver the message as clear as possible. Also, you guys, I'm doing my um, my tarot cards over. So I'm in a mix of making my own tarot cards so I could get a better understanding and deliver my message as accurate as possible. And to think of every most possible word I could possibly think of. So... Right now, we have Sunday up top. Either Sunday is a significant day. Either Sunday, you're going to church. Sunday, you have your Sunday dinners. And my family, what we used to do is always have big Sunday dinners. That was something my grandmother always did. Big Sunday dinners. And I can't wait to do that with my family, my children, my future husband. Sunday dinners definitely was always something that I did. Went from a child on up, we had Sunday dinners. We had big Sunday dinners. I'm so my fried chicken, fried pork chops, baked macaroni and cheese, collard greens, cornbread, macaroni salad. Our Sunday meals was like Thanksgiving meals every Sunday. And my grandmother took pride in cooking, and she knew how to cook our ass off. I'm telling you, anything you taste, it was the bomb. Okay, so Sunday could be a significant day, a family day, I consider. A day you share with your family, your wife, your children, your kids. Up top could mean you need to visit somebody up north that's in jail. Usually we call it up top. Yeah, I just came home from up top. Blah, 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 blah. So up top is a slang word for up north jail, jailhouse. Together. You and this person are together. You in a relationship. You and this person thinking about going on a vacation. Somebody owe rent. Um, if you owe rent, when this rent card come out, I usually just tell you to go to uh, the government. Go to either public assistance or you could go to the charities. They give out um, a lot of um, churches, help people pay their rent. Um, they got a lot of private programs for people who have pride and don't want to deal with public assistance. Um, you have other um, programs inside the welfare that can connect you to the other churches and charities that help pay your rent. So it is help out there and they have a rent assistant program. For people who have mortgages, if you owe mortgage, they help you pay your mortgage. Um, if you rent in, they help you pay your rent. Things in that nature. Positive energy. Keep a positive mindset when you're dealing with owing bills or rent. Keep a positive energy. Just know that the rent will get paid. Um, I've been down this road once before. When I was about 18, 19 years old, I had just moved in my apartment and I was on public assistance and I thought they was paying the rent for a whole year. And that, honey, I must have had a nervous breakdown because I wasn't used to, you know, feeling overwhelmed. And I mean, I cried my ass off. I was thinking I'm about to be homeless. I ain't going to have nowhere to live. All types of negative shit. So in this situation... Keep a positive energy that your old rent will be paid. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. As long as you got a child in the house, government going to take care of you. Don't worry about it. Don't even think about it. You got too many black people that's working hard to pay your bills. Big titty. Somebody has big breasts. Somebody could be Aquarius, which is air energy. In the Virgo reading, this person could be not ready. Dating site, the universe wants you to go on a dating site, Virgo. It's time for you to start dating. No food could be no food on Sunday. Cheater on board. 
somebody cheating on you, somebody lying to you, Virgo, or you are a cheater, Virgo. You're cheating on somebody. I'm falling for you. Not only you are you cheating, Virgo, you falling for somebody. Facebook. This person could be on your Facebook. Oh, shit. That bad health card keep coming out. Bad health. Go get your health checked out. Winter card. Definitely stay coming out. Oh, shit, Virgo. You got a Sagittarius in your energy. Drunk or stinks. That's some stink ass pussy. You know how bitches get drunk, they get pissy. Okay, I put that card for drunk or stink. That means you either pissy drunk or your ass stink. Pissy. You either smell pissy. Family. I put the eight as an and friends. Family and friends. So family and friends, you either need to go visit your friends and your family or you need to spend some time with them. Or you need to come together on Sunday and have y'all Sunday dinner. Because mostly my family, no. Anybody in my family who's looking at this reading, no. We always have Sunday dinner. <clears throat> I, my whole family will come down. Cousins I ain't see in weeks will be popping up on Sunday dinner. They made sure they came for Sunday dinner. Tuesday. Tuesday could mean something to you. Either Tuesday you... I'm going shopping, going to work, something on Tuesday. Watching. Somebody is watching you on your Facebook, somebody on your Instagram. Um, but I don't see, I don't feel anything negative. Only thing negative on this board is cheater and bad health. Everything else is all positive. Calling. Someone is going to be calling you, reaching out to you, Virgo. Um, it could be a Sagittarius calling out to you, reaching out to you. Or it could be an Aquarius, an air sign calling, reaching out to you. Um, cat. The cat could mean something to you and that person. And this person is your twin flame. And that person have a truck. So, Virgo, either you meet somebody with a truck or you got a truck. Your twin flame could be a Sagittarius or Aquarius, either air or a Sagittarius. And usually we all know, we all know Beyonce is a Virgo and Jay-Z is a Sagittarius. Look at that bank account, baby. Two great minds come together. I tell you, y'all, Sagittarius and a Virgo together is like power. They're going to make magic happen. They're going to make money, movies, all types of shit happen. This is how it go. This is how the universe connect the dots. When I look at Jay-Z and Beyonce, I'll be like, yo, she done bear her three children. Virgos, we love. As long as we have, when well, Virgos have children, as long as we give life to our children, we are the most happiest creatures on earth. Because we know them kids are going to be a part of our life for the rest of our life. We love kids. Virgos love children. But we don't like badass kids. Grown little girls or grown little boys. I can't stand no fresh ass kid. And I won't have nothing to do with no fresh ass kid. I won't buy you shit. I'll have you walk around here looking like a fucking bum before I spend my money on a fresh ass kid. You will go, I will go to the 99 cent store and buy you a motherfucking, just enough to keep your ass above the water. <laughs> I will not support no badass kid. I'm sorry. You grown, you disrespectful, and you talk back to me, you won't never get nothing from me. You, your ass will starve before I give you anything. And my son, he well aware of that. That's why he be on my best side. He don't never give me no conflict. The gift of life. So you have the gift of life. If they don't appreciate you, they don't deserve you. Nope. Move right on, right on. You know when a person appreciates you, they compliment you. They greet you. They always evolve. Beautiful body shape. Virgo, this person think you got a beautiful body shape and... To be honest with you, 
You do. Oh, shit. Virgo. Ding, 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 ding. A hundred thousand a month. Come on, universe. Break that bread off for Virgo. A hundred thousand a month. I'll take a hundred thousand a month in cash or followers, subscribers. So, universe, grant me this hundred thousand a month and subscribers. Who cares? Money, subscribers, a hundred thousand a month. It could be anything. Hundred thousand likes a month. 100,000 um, subscribers a month, 100,000 dollars in your pocket, 100,000 dollars could fit in any category. I put it so I could put that energy out there for any one of us to receive this blessing. Sexually attracted to you, this person is sexually attracted to you. They love your beautiful body shape. <clears throat> you have big titties to them, even though your little titties are small, but he think your titties is huge. Fish market. Ah, oh, man, this means you need to go get some fish. It's the Sabbath. Usually I eat fish on a Sabbath day. So that's letting me know to um, go back to my routines, go back to my normal routines. See, I had a uh, I had a set routine that I used to do to keep me from falling underneath. I always, like in the morning, I would get up. First thing I do is make up my bed. I did that for so many years. The first thing I would do is get up, make up my bed, sweep out my room, clear up whatever I need to clear, get in, get my clothes out, take a shower, brush my teeth, oil you my skin down, go in the kitchen, make me something to eat. It'll be just me here. My son would be at school or already left because he used to leave out like 6, 7 in the morning. So I would have all my space, my time to myself. And now that that the man that changed in my life, I miss it so much. I didn't value how much my self-love of myself and being by myself, how much I really enjoy that atmosphere. I really miss that because not only I was already finding, I always was financially straight by myself and I always had a roof over my head and I always had cars, always did my own thing and I never, I never, I never, um, looked at my life as boring. I looked at it as peaceful, quiet. Listen to some young blue. I looked at it as peaceful, quiet, my sanctuary. I didn't, you know, people didn't bother me. Nobody knocks on my door. I didn't really socialize with the neighbors like that because I didn't. I used to tell my neighbors all the time, all my friends, my neighbors, they know. Don't pop up at my motherfucking crib or you ain't getting in. My homegirls, I tell them all the time, if you don't call me, you will not get in my house. My mother, you guys, popped up at my house. No lie. She was banging on my door for a whole hour. I was sitting in my living room like, yo, who the fuck is this knocking on my door? And so she was like, Monique, it's your mother. Open up the door. I was like, oh, and that's when I got up and I opened up the door. And she was like, yo, you ready to tell me I'm standing here knocking on your door for a whole fucking hour and you was going to answer it? Nah, mom, I, what I'm answering my door for? I'm in the projects. I don't know these fucking people, so... You know, I'm thinking crazy shit could happen. So I'm like, no, I'm not answering my fucking door. I don't give a fuck who you is. I'm not answering my door. So she was like, well, good thing she called my name out. Because if she didn't call my name out, y'all, my mother was calling the phone. She was knocking on the door. <laughs> Yo, I dad ass be serious about not answering my fucking door. And people think I be joking when I be like, I don't answer my fucking door. And when I go back to my normal life, I'm never answering my fucking door. People could not, I wouldn't give a fuck. If you don't call my house, your ass won't get in. And that is the bottom line to that. All right, listen to some blue. Soften up that heart. Because, you know, young blue, he definitely gone. Let me see. Remote, cable, remote. Uh, it's all the way over there. Don't feel like it. Anyway, we're going to make this reading short. All right. 
She's demanding. So you have somebody that's demanding around you, Virgo. People love your vibes and your positive energy. That is definitely. No matter how badly people treat you, never drop down to their level. Just know you're better and walk away. Friends don't leave friends for other friends. She's conceited. So you have somebody that's conceited. Um, stealing, shoplifting. So this conceited person is uh, shoplifting. This person is from New York City. Together with you is my favorite place to be. Fast food restaurant. Either you're going to McDonald's, Burger King, um, Sonic, Wendy's, motherfucking Subway, Starbucks, Domino's, or either Dunkin' Donuts. Teacher. Teacher on board. Someone is either a teacher that's watching or someone is thinking about becoming a teacher. My apologies. I'm sorry for hurting you. I never wanted you to feel bad in any way. It was childish of me to do that to you. I don't expect you to forgive me. I just wanted to I just wanted you to know that I'm sorry. So somebody is going to be giving you the apology, Virgo, that you've been waiting for for many years for this person to be sincere and really apologize for their bad behavior, apologizing for not being on the same level as you, apologizing for not going for the best jobs, apologizing for not focusing on themselves, not loving themselves. And by them not loving themselves, they was able to uh, do damage on your behalf. They did a lot of damage because this person did not love themselves. And usually when you be with somebody who don't love themselves, they cause damage in your life. They don't be a upgrading your life. They be a downgrading your life. You want somebody that come around you to uplift you so that way you could keep going and be the better you. You don't want somebody coming in your life, oh, look at this bitch. Oh, she thinks she all that. Oh, she conceited. Oh, she's demanding. Oh, she always looking for life gifts. Oh, she thinks she bad because she got a nice body. You know, this is the negative shit that people will say. You have to block out that negative energy and draw in all the positive energy. And if the people is not on the same board as you, get rid of them. Get rid of them. I'm telling you, trust me. I got rid of people all my life. I've been kicking motherfuckers to the curb since I was a young girl. I had plenty of boyfriends. Cut their asses off. When I saw a certain shit in a man or a man do certain shit or say certain shit, I knew automatically, all right, this man ain't for me. It's time for me to move on. It's time for me to do better. It's time for me to get on a higher level of thinking. And no longer where I let these low vibrational men keep me in a low vibrational energy. I'm on some higher shit. And that's elevating. That's Growing my fucking bank account. That's holding down a stability. Making sure I keep a, a, a firm job that's paying me well. So I can take care of my daughter. I don't care about uh, materialistic things. But I care about stability. And stability to me is very important in a relationship. And if a person can't see how strong you are on your stability. Kick that ass to the curve. You want somebody on the same level as you. You don't want somebody coming in and you got to do everything. No. God didn't make it for you to do everything. That's why he made two of us, a man and a woman. Let's fuck in your new car. Somebody interested in fucking you in your new car. Black power. Black love is on board. Someone is catching a cold, an illness, some type of sickness. Summertime. Summertime can mean something to you. I don't know. I don't smoke. So this is somebody who don't smoke, Virgo. So you could be possibly me and somebody that don't smoke or either you quit smoking, Virgo. Bad habits, drinking alcohol daily. So somebody around you is an alcoholic, Virgo. This person drink every single day. Get rid of him. 
Only thing gonna happen, the alcoholic gonna bring you the fuck down. Trust me, I was raised with alcoholics. I know what these alcoholic crackheads is about. Get rid of him. The alcoholic don't see no future. The alcoholic don't want no future. All he want is a motherfucking bottle, um, some motherfucking crack or some motherfucking weed or dope, whatever other use of drugs that he use along with the alcohol. He don't want nothing but the fucking drug. And if you got a drug addict, trust me, it may hurt. You gonna cry. You gonna feel the pain. Get rid of him. That's the only way he gonna clean up. Get rid of him. Bad habits. Cracking knuckles. Eating sweets. Those are bad habits. Those are bad habits. Oh, my bacon almost burnt, y'all. All right. It's crispy like a mug. So those bad habits... You know, you got to get rid of those bad habits. Them alcoholics drinking every day, obsessive overeating sweets and shit all day. Fuck out of here. I can't be, a, I can't be with nobody that eat fucking cakes and cookies and shit all fucking day. Hell no. Eat some real food. Grown people food. No little kid food. That's a little, that's a, like a little boy, a little child or something, a little girl. Because... When you grow up, you learn how to eat. And if you grown and you still don't know how to eat, you need to fucking learn how to eat. Go to your doctor, go to your dietitian, and you talk to them. And, and they'll give you like a, a pyramid plan on how to eat, how to eat your vegetables, your fruits, things of that nature. But to just be obsessive over sweets and alcohol and, and drugs, I mean, that's a badass habit. Law. Don't break the law. Follow the law. You know, because me, I'm not breaking no law. I, I like my freedom. So you can't convince me to commit a crime at this age. I'm too old to be going to jail. Okay, Virgo, you could be coming across a bachelor with his own apartment. You're going to notice some things in his apartment, magazines, clothes, dishes, and shit like that. He lives alone. He used to his bachelor life. And I am too. No lie. I'm talking about the bachelor life. I miss my bachelor life. Your dinner date pays half equal rights. I'm not paying half of nothing. I said that yesterday. If a person asks me to pay half, the date is over. I don't, I'm not interested. I'm getting in my truck and I'm pulling the fuck off. Adult fiend in your present. Again, Virgo. Dope fiend on board. This love, this person love your body, love your big ass twice. So this is somebody infatuated with your body. Double confirmation. This is somebody that's attractive to you. This is somebody that want to marry you one day. I see a future together. This is somebody true love has a bad habit of coming back to each other. So this is somebody you really in love with, Virgo. This is somebody that you're going to end up going back to. Um, you guys always break up and come back together. Break up, come back together. You guys going to be winning. It's going to be a breakup. So you could be either breaking up with somebody um, from your past. Or you could be breaking up with somebody from your future. I don't know. It depends on you. But it, the car breakup came out. Everyone you meet comes with baggage and baggages. Find someone who loves you enough to help you unpack. You already know what that means. Know your self-worth. Know who you are. You come first. Because without you, nobody ain't going to make it. Not even the fucking kids going to make it. That's why I tell people all the time. I come first. Not my fucking kids. Because without me, my kids can't fucking make it. I have to make sure I look good. I attract the money. I get out there. I work. My children don't have that responsibility. That's why they don't come first. They come first in my heart as far as my love for them, but as far as me financially, no. Financially, no. Love, yes. Finance, no. Why? Because I'm the one is the breadwinner. 
and my health have to be good to get out there in order for me to take care of my child. And my child going to learn from watching me so that way when they have their children, they'll be the same fucking way. When people say my child come first, no, that, that that's stupid to me. Because if you owe fucking rent and your child need a new pair of sneakers, which one is mostly important? You paying that fucking rent. You can, you can always get a used pair of fucking sneakers. You can always go to the church and get, pick up a pair of sneakers. That new pair of sneakers is not that fucking important. And I, I hate when black African-American females will spend money on materialistic shit and then owe rent, no food, no life insurance, no nothing. Come on, y'all. Get it together. This is probably why these Europeans don't want to pay us. Because they know we're going to blow all that bread. They know how we spend. But we have every right to spend like that anyway. Because why are we fucking rich? And this is what rich people do. Spend. We got it like that. Black people is the richest people in the goddamn planet. Everybody know it. You know it. I know it. The ones you see on the board right now that's pretending to be rich... They are pretenders. God ain't never award them those gifts. God award those gifts to us. And we was, and it was stolen from us, from the haters. You understand? People that hate on you. These are haters. These are people who don't want to see you progress. These are people who don't want to see you grow and develop. Why? They took it from you. Throughout history. They bombed our cities. They, they burnt down our record stores, newspaper stores, motherfucking grocery stores, library, our schools destroyed down there in the South. You understand what I'm saying? And these are the haters. And if you don't see who the haters is, people, don't look at your, 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 your other black friend and be like, oh, he's a hater. No, he's not the hater, people. Your friends around you is not the haters, people. It may seem like that. The real big issue here is the haters above who actually stole from you, who actually took from you, who actually did you fucking dirty. That is the fucking hater. And we as people have to get on the same board to identify these hating ass motherfuckers. They like living in secrecy. With they hating ass ways. You know what I'm saying? And nobody know they fucking haters. Because people think they love the world. No, they don't love the world. Because if you love the world, you'll pay us back all our goddamn money you owe us. You owe us a lot. Europeans owe, owe Europeans in big fucking debt with us. They owe us in the motherfucking Chinese. The wrong relationship teach you how to recognize the right one when it arrives. Of course. I mean, my girlfriends was talking about this last night. When you in the wrong relationship and you get in the right relationship, you realize, holy shit, I wasted all this fucking time trying to convince this motherfucker I love him, trying to convince this person we should get married, trying to convince this person we should have children, trying to convince this person we should get a house, convince this person you should get a fucking job, convince this person we should uh, open up a bank account and save money so that way we can have our own. And the whole time, you in the wrong fucking relationship. You in the wrong relationship. You should not have to convince no fucking body that you love them. You shouldn't have to convince nobody that you the one for them. You should not have to install stability thoughts in this person's mind. This person should automatically learn this shit from his mama, his papa, from his fucking family. And if he didn't learn these things from his fucking family... His family ain't teach him shit. They didn't teach him how to survive on his own. They didn't teach him how to eat on his own. They didn't teach him a motherfucking thing. Let me tell you, when your parents bring you in this world, they supposed to teach you how to be independent. That means when they die, you supposed to be able to live a luxury lifestyle after they fucking leave. And if your parents ain't teach you that, you ain't learn shit. You still got some learning to do. Get rid of him. When you see the signs, get rid of him. I'm just identifying the signs. Staten Island. Staten Island could be somewhere, a significant area. Staten Island is a borough in New York. No broke niggas. So, when I put this card, no broke niggas, it means 
Higher your standards. Don't let these dry, begging, broke ass niggas come around and suck up your positive energy with their negative shit. You understand? That's like you holding down a fucking nine to five and then you meet a broke nigga who come around you and want to sell fucking drugs out of your house while you at work. Get rid of him. This is a broke nigga move right here. This is broke nigga shit. While you at work busting your fucking ass, paying the fucking bills, this motherfucker want to take the easy route out. That's a broke nigga dream right there. He don't know no, no better. He only know the streets. Get rid of him. He ain't no good. When your girl slash boyfriend laugh too hard at one of your homies joke. Yeah, this is the type of person that comes around you. It could be a male or female. That every time your friends say something, they find a key key to be so amusing. Over laughing. This person always laughing at people jokes. Ha 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 ha. Think everything is funny. Ain't shit funny. Nigga, what you over there laughing at? Texas. I designed this car because my goal is to move to Texas one day. And hopefully I'll be in Texas before 2023. I'm hoping that I'll be out there by 2023. Start a new journey, start a new path, start a new life. I can't sleep at night having bad dreams. So someone can't sleep. They having bad dreams, nightmares about something. They could be high off pills. People be taking them fucking pills and shit. They could be high off pills. Today, I refuse to stress myself out about things I cannot control or change. No. Why stress yourself over something you cannot change? You have no control over what the next person do. You can't change other people. Only thing you can do is change yourself. And how do you change yourself? By removing yourself from those type of people that's not on the same path as you. You have every right to relocate. You have every right to discontinue from those who don't serve you any purpose. Dodging bullets. You dodging bullets by leaving this person behind. You dodging whatever karma come along with that person. Trust me, you don't want to get with somebody that got fucking baggages and karma. What do that bring in your house? Nothing but negative energy. Nothing but negative energy. Your, your money going to go downward. You're not going to accumulate. The, the gods is not going to bless. Let me tell you, a toxic relationship, God is not blessing that household. Money, nothing. He's not blessed in a toxic situation. I know I've been down that road. I felt it. I, I seen it. I see how God operates. As long as you smart in the situation and you thinking and you motivation, motivating yourself to want more out of life, he will reward you and help you and guide you on that path. God will bring positive people in your life. He will bring strangers in your life to help you get to your dreams and your goals. You don't have to um, settle for anybody bullshit. The old people that you know, you don't have to kiss those people ass to support you on your dreams. No, it's billions of people in the earth. And if, and, and if you have that strong, positive energy like I do, the people going to come to you. I have people come to me all the times. Always asking me for my knowledge. Always asking me, what do I think? How do I feel? People always, this has like been going on since I was young. And I'm, I'm knowledgeable because I had an educated mother. I had an educated father. I was surrounded by educated black men who knew their history, who knew, <coughs> who knew things that average motherfuckers didn't know. All right, 20,000 a month. 20,000 a month could be 20,000 subscribers a month. $20,000 in cash a month. 20,000 in likes a month. 20,000 a month is just a number. I don't know what it means, but it could mean something to you. For me, I hope it's $20,000 a month. Mansion. Somebody gonna be getting a mansion soon. And I'm telling you guys, I'm thinking about buying me a fucking one of them big ass mansion houses in Texas because Texas houses is huge. 
What I pay in New York and I could get in Texas. Come on, y'all. Shit. In New York, if in Texas, I got pre-approved for 217000 from the bank. So I'm like, in New York, you can't find nothing for that. So I started looking around in other states and then started told me to look in Texas. I went in Texas, y'all. You get a motherfucking pool. You get high ass ceiling with chandeliers. You get marble motherfucking floors. You getting a big ass fucking backyard. I'm like, what? For $950 a month? Nigga, I make that shit with my eyes closed. $950 a month. Shit. That's a one week income for me. So I'm out of here, son. I'm giving my thoughts. I'm thinking about it. By the time I said 20, I told myself 2023. I should be ready to move to my new lifestyle. And the new lifestyle is to live luxury, macro it, and live the best life that I could possibly live until I leave out this fucking earth. And that's my goal. Someone is very concerned. Oh, they should be concerned. They should be concerned because this person is the one who fucked up. They didn't want nothing. They didn't want no stability. They didn't want no solid commitment. They didn't want a gr no growth. So I would be concerned too if I did, if I made the wrong fucking decisions for my life. You, you chose the wrong path. So when you choose the wrong path, guess what? You're going to walk through darkness. You're going to bump into every fucking thing. All types of shit going to come your way. All types of drama, beef, gossip, all types of shit going to hit you like a fucking pile of bricks. Blah. You're going to lose everything. I'm telling you, this is, someone is concerned. You better be concerned. There is no spiritual teacher than your own self. Nobody can't tell you what to do. You the boss. Broadway show at the theater. Definitely got to get there. The Broadway show, got to go see Cats. Got to go see the Christmas Carol. I probably get me some tickets for me and my daughter to go see the Christmas Carol show. I haven't taken her to Broadway yet. No hood rats. No hood rats meaning you're not tolerating no more hood niggas. No more hood rats. Strictly professionals. If the person ain't have a professional career, goals, look professional. Leave the hood rats right where the fuck they at. In the motherfucking gutter. No hood rats. I um, last the other night I was downtown Brooklyn. It was so many fucking big ass rats running around that motherfucker. I was saying to myself, I don't want to live like this. No hood rats. I act like I don't care, but deep inside it hurts. Of course it hurts. You don't know how to express your emotion. You don't know how to express your feelings. You don't know how to tell how you feel. So you're going to go through hell through life. Why? Because you don't know how to express your feelings, your emotions, or your thoughts. Stay positive even when it feels like your life is falling apart. Yeah, you got to stay positive. When you around this negative type of energy, you don't want that energy to carry on to your next relationship. So when you move on to the next relationship, you be well prepared for your relationship. You won't bring all that negative energy that you went through in your past relationship into your future relationship. So try to leave that negative shit behind. Um, try not to even bring up the ex. Don't even mention the ex. Whatever you and the ex went through, whatever your situation, your relationship, don't even let the new person know until years later. Let it go down the road because that person don't matter no more. Once you leave them, they don't matter. Their story don't matter. What he put you through don't matter. What she put you through don't matter. It don't matter no more. I never thought anyone would ever make me smile, laugh, and capture my heart as fast as you. Universe wants you to go visit your friends. You're intelligent. Your intelligency makes you really attractive. We all know Virgos is intelligent. I am not going to argue with a narcissist. 
what I told y'all, don't argue with the narcissist. No broke niggas. You're dodging these broke niggas. No hood rats. You're running from them. You're going towards your goals. And that's getting 20000 a month. A mansion. You staying positive even when it feels like your life is falling apart. You're intelligent. You're making really attractive decisions. You know? People. All right, you guys. My daughter is crying. I'm going to have to end this reading and find out what's going on with the spoiled baby. Make sure you guys hit a like and subscribe. I'm sorry. I will make another video after this.